understand. W told me he was my best friend. So why did he pull out? Maybe he didn't want to father a child as stupid as he is. Well, I trusted you. You said invade Cuba. The focus group backed me up. All right. All right, I'm sorry. Oh, but just look at the Daily Mail. Oh, must I? <laughs> oh, oh, very well. Oh. <laughs> PM's an even bigger prat than we told you he'd be at the last election. Oh. oh it could be worse. How? Well, the apostrophe's in the right place. <laughs> Shows your education policy is working. Look, what am I going to do now? <laughs> just, just, just. Nah. You simply set up a royal commission. I'll chair it, of course. My findings will show the Cuban invasion failed because Europe let you down militarily. Your new policy, which will make you wildly popular, is to leave the European Union, block up the Channel Tunnel, and reinstate the old imperial measures. <laughs> Professor, I'll be renouncing everything, everything that I hold dear. Again. <laughs> Tony, it's your decision. Do you fight to win a Euro referendum and usher in an era of cooperation and prosperity, or do you hang on to power at all costs and jettison all your heartfelt principles? With respect, Professor, that is a ridiculous question. It's bye bye principles, then. <laughs> so, Britain will leave the European Union and once more be a quaint and backward backwater which we will be able to manipulate effortlessly as our very own offshore island. Another triumph, Professor, but tell me, how did you get the President to call off the invasion? Oh, I gave him a cigar. Was that all? Well, it was a very special cigar. W had never tasted anything like it before. But then it did come from Bill Clinton's private stock. And we all know how he kept his cigars moist. 